What's up awesome YouTubers, Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys and in this video I'm going to do part one of my Blu-ray collection overview. Uh, originally I was going to do the entire Blu-ray collection uh, in one video but I have a lot and uh, it would just be really really hard to kind of fit it all in one video. So, and it'd be too long. So I kind of want to do these in parts, uh, enjoy making them for you. Uh, each week you're going to get another part. Uh, part one is going to be my box sets and my first, I'd say, two shelves. Or I'll end it with, let's see, the G's. And then everything else is going to be in part two and part three. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, the way I alphabetize my movies is I go by um, alphabetizing and it's also mixed genres so it's all kind of combined together um, I find it easier just to kind of set up my movies that way and um, I really enjoy it so it's easy to put movies away it's easy to set up and when I get new movies I know where to put them so I really like it and I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm gonna get started um, these videos are gonna be probably quite long so I'm not really going to explain each blu-ray I might talk about a couple of them but I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video like I said gonna get started before I start repeating myself again but here we go uh, starting with my box sets and I also have some digi books up here uh, starting with my Alfred Hitchcock masterpiece collection I uh, love that set it doesn't have all his movies but it has a good amount of them in there and a lot of the classic ones we have the Nightmare on Elm Street UK region free uh, Blu-ray set with all um, or the first seven movies in it. The American Pie Blu-ray set with all four movies, um, which are all region free by the way. Anything that I get in the UK that are like the Blu-ray box sets, I definitely try to get the region free ones because I don't have a region free player uh, for Blu-ray. Uh, the next one is my Animeville Horror Trilogy box set from Scream Factory. It has the first three movies in it. You got the UK uh, Blu-ray set of the Back to the Future films, which I personally enjoy a lot better, and I'll show you why, because they come in their own cases and own artwork, and I love that. So I got that set. Then we got the first three Jason Bourne movies, not really a trilogy now, but it's the first three in a box set, and I think I got this for like $16, so can't beat that. Uh, the Nightmare, or not Nightmare on Elm Street, the complete Chucky box set with all six movies in it. Love that set. We got the Ghostbusters 1 and 2 Digibook. The Friday the 13th, the complete uh, series box set, uh, which is now out of print. Goes for a lot of money, but I remember I got that pretty cheap when it first came out. Then you also got, I believe this is out of print, I'm not sure, the complete Halloween limited edition box set with all the films in it. Um, that includes some extra bonus features and the producer's cut of Halloween 6 that you don't get in the standard Scream Factory box set. The first five Harry Potter movies, the Hills of Eyes uh, Arrow Edition Blu-ray, and I put that up top. Uh, fits better up on the top with the other box sets. Got Home Alone 1 and 2, uh, the Complete Anniversary, or the Complete Adventures Indi Indiana Jones Blu-ray box set. The 50th Anniversary uh, set with all the James Bond movies except for uh, Skyfall and Spectre because I have them in their own standard cases. Then we have the Jurassic Park collection. Um, there's the first three in this box set and then I have Jurassic World in its standard case in the collection. The Mad Max Original Trilogy box set. The Complete Omen Collection, which has the first three films and the remake. Uh, the Robocop Trilogy. The Rocky uh, Heavyweight Collection with uh, the first Rocky up to Rocky Balboa. Then we got the Society Edition, uh, Arrow Edition, uh, Limited Edition set. I'm trying to talk. Uh, Awesome set here, I love that. The uh, Star Wars Complete Saga Collection, which is now just the first six movies since they have Force Awakens. You got the Superman uh, box set with the Richard Donner Superman up to Superman Returns. And then 
right here we have the Man of Steel uh, Target exclusive Digibook. Then the Spider-Man Trilogy box set with the first three movies. Got uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 40th Anniversary Blu-ray set, which I love. Then we got the Universal Monsters uh, US edition with all the classic Universal Monster movies. Love that. The uh, X-Men Trilogy box set, which is now not a trilogy, but it's the first three movies. So, awesome set. Uh, then right here we have the limited edition Heather's Tin, which comes with uh, a t-shirt, but it's in the other room in my closet. And then the Blu-ray set on the inside. Blu-ray and DVD set. So, got that right there. So, and then going down to the standard cases, like I said, I'm going to go, uh, I think I'm just going to do the first two shelves, and then the part two will be the next two, and then the third part will be the last two. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get keep going. So, we got the starting with numbers, 10 Cloverfield Lane, uh, 10 Things I Hate About You, 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, 28 Days Later, 30 Days of Night, 50 50, 54, 101 Dalmatians, 500 Days of Summer, uh, Adventures in Babysitting, Age of Adeline, Anthem Body Saints, Aladdin, the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland, then we have the first four Alien movies, and then Alien vs. Predator. Uh, this is the double set with uh, the first movie and Requiem. All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. Aloha, which I actually really enjoyed. I know a lot of people didn't care for that one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, and then Amazing Spider-Man 2. Again, this movie got a lot of hate, but I loved it, and definitely, in my opinion, preferred over the first movie. It does have its flaws, but I do enjoy that movie. I do love that movie. Then we got the first season of American Horror Story. Then we got Freak Show. And Hotel. I uh, wouldn't mind getting Coven, but I did not like Asylum, so if I ever find Coven cheap, I'd pick that one up. Uh, American Mary, this is the Region Free UK Blu-ray. American Hustle. American Psycho. Uh, American Werewolf in London. The Animeville Horror uh, Remake. Uh, Anastasia, which is not opened yet. I uh, just... Some of my movies, if I don't have them open yet, I'm just not in the mood to watch them, and I got this for like $5 at Target. So eventually, I'm going to watch that, and probably around this month, I'll put that on. Uh, then we got Anna Annabelle, Ant-Man, uh, the Scream Factory edition of Army of Darkness, As Above, So Below, August Osage County, the uh, Austin Powers Trilogy, Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, Bad Dreams and Visiting Hours, this is the double feature Blu-ray from Scream Factory, really enjoyed both those movies, Bad Moon, great werewolf movie, one of my favorites, Basic Instinct, uh, Season 1 of Bates Motel, I'm so behind on that show, I have to finish Season 2 and watch the rest, but I really enjoy what I've seen so far, so gotta catch up. Then we got the first, uh, well, the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher Batman collection with the first two movies by Tim Burton and the other two movies by Joel Schumacher. Uh, personally, I really enjoy all the movies. I know a lot of people do not like Joel Schumacher's movies, especially Batman and Robin. Uh, you can call it a guilty pleasure of mine, but I like watching it. Batman Returns is by far the best in this set, though. I uh, love that movie. Then we got Batman Killing Joke, a really cool uh, Target exclusive uh, steelbook, and uh, one that I really enjoyed, so I like that one quite a bit. Then we got Batman Begins, the start to the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Then we got Batman vs. Superman with Batman and Superman there. Great steelbook, I love that. Then we got Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, 
uh, Beetlejuice, Behind the Candelabre, uh, Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, The Best of Me, I'm a big Nicholas Sparks fan, I have all the movies either on DVD or Blu-ray, so, uh, Big, Big Business, Big Hero 6, Big Trouble in Little China, The Birdcage, Birdman, the Canadian Blu-ray of the original Black Christmas. Love that uh, edition. I know Screen Factory is releasing it. Um, we'll see about picking that up. I'm a big fan, so I might just double dip and get that one. But this one is amazing, and I absolutely love this set. So my buddy Pat gave this to me, so thank you, Pat. Then we got the Canadian Blu-ray of Black Christmas, the remake, which I loved. I know it's very underrated, and a lot of people don't like it, but... I have a lot of fun with that every Christmas. Black Hat with uh, Chris Hemsworth. Have not watched this movie yet. Uh, I got this really cheap. I think it was like $2.50. So, big Chris Hemsworth fan. Uh, one of my favorites. I love him. Then we got Black Swan. The Brood. The Boy. Love that. The Boogans. Blue Valentine. Blood Rage. Uh, great 80 slasher from Arrow. Love that. Blended. Blair Witch Project. Blade Runner. I believe this is the final cut of the film. Can't remember which cut it is. I think it's the final cut. Uh, Black Waters of Echo's Pond. Boogie Nights. Born Legacy. Boys in the Band. Brave. Breakfast uh, at Tiffany's. The Breakfast Club. Bridesmaids, Bring It On, Brokeback Mountain, The Burbs, which I have not opened yet. Uh, like I said, just got to be in the mood to watch them, but I, this was really cheap online, and uh, one I wanted to own because I did not have it on DVD. Uh, Love that movie, saw it for the first time last year. Burlesque, The Burning, Burnt Offerings, Cabin Fever, Cabin in the Woods, the UK Region Free Blu-ray of Candyman. Can't hardly wait. Can't hardly wait. One of my favorite comedies. Then we have the first Captain America, the first Avenger, uh, Winter Soldier, and the awesome uh, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook of Civil War. Uh, we got Captain Phillips, Carol, uh, the Scream Factory edition of the first Carrie. I love that edition. Then we have the Carrie double feature from Scream Factory with the 2002 TV remake and the Rage Carrie 2. Then we got the remake from 2013. I uh, hated it the first time. I've actually grown to appreciate it more with each, each watch. Uh, it's never going to beat the original, but I like it. Castaway, one of my favorite movies. The Choice. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie's Angels. Child 44, which I've not watched this yet, but I have a major crush on Tom Hardy, so I picked it up for him, and it was like, I think like two bucks, so not too bad. Children of the Corn, the original. Uh, one of the sequels, Children of the Corn Genesis. Chopping Mall. Christmas Evil, which by the way, that's an awesome edition of Chopping Mall. Christmas Story. Christmas Vacation. The Disney animated version of Cinderella. And the live action version, love that. Uh, Chernobyl Diaries, absolutely love it, very underrated. Cherry Falls. The um, Twilight Times, uh, out of print Blu ray of Christine. Class of 1984. Clockwork Orange. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Cloverfield. Clown. Clueless. The Collector. The Collection. Commando. The uh, Best Buy exclusive metal pack with both cuts of the movie. The UK Region Free Blu-ray of Company of Wolves. The Conjuring. The Conjuring 2. The Craft. And Creed. Then down to the second shelf. We have, and sorry about the lighting, Crimson Peak. The Crow. The Canadian Blu-ray of The Crazies Remake. Cruel Intentions, the Camp Crystal Lake 
Blu-ray documentary. I uh, love that uh, documentary on this series. The out of print Lionsgate Blu-ray of Cujo. Uh, Curse 1 and 2. Currens. Dallas Buyers Club. The Danish Girl. Daredevil. The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, both steelbooks. Then we got Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. Dark Places. Dark Shadows. Dark Skies. The out of print edition of uh, Dawn of the Dead from Arrow. Then we got uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake. Uh, Planet of the Apes. Uh, this is the Best Buy, or not Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Best Buy uh, Metal Pack, which I love. Love that movie. That was one of my favorites from 2014. Day of the Dead from Arrow. This is the out of print Blu ray, which, by the way, Day of the Dead and Dawn of the Dead, um, I believe some of the cuts are uh, region free. So. Awesome sets. Thank you to my buddy Doug, or Doug Lander. Uh, the Day After Tomorrow. Days and Confused. Uh, Dead Silence. Deadly Blessing. Deadpool, which, honestly, this took me by surprise. Um, I knew I was going to love it, but I didn't think I was going to... I knew I was going to like it, but I didn't think I was going to love it. Uh, I know a lot of people loved it. I didn't really see it in theaters, but... I uh, watched it for the first time on Blu-ray and fell in love with that movie. So, sometimes hype movies, I'm kind of skeptical on, skeptical on them. That was one of them. Uh, Death Becomes Her. Death Valley. Dear John. The Departed, Goodfellas, and The Aviator. Uh, the Demons of Steelbook uh, from Synapse. And The Demons 2 Steelbook. The Descent, Desperately Seeking Susan, The Devil Wears Prada, uh, The Devil's Rejects, Dial In For Murder, Die Hard, and Die Hard, Die Hard, or Die Hard 2, Die Harder. Uh, I don't have the other ones, not too crazy about them, and I heard the uh, second one was, or not the second one, but the fifth one was pretty bad, so. Uh, the signed uh, copy of Digging Up the Marrow by Adam Green, the director. Dismembering Christmas. Disturbing Behavior. Divergent. Uh, the Insurgent, part of the Divergent series. I just put them all together. So Insurgent. And then Allegiant. Uh, Diango Unchained, love that movie. Don John, love that movie. Awesome film. Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, uh, which was the remake. Uh, Don't Go in the Woods. The Dorm That Dripped Blood. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey version. Uh, love that movie. Love this edition, too. The Drop, excellent movie from Tom Hardy, one of his best, in my opinion. The Duff. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, or Francis Cop Cord Coppola's, if I'm saying that right. Francis Ford Coppola. Sorry, it's Dracula. Then we got Dracula Untold, Dracula 2000, Drag Me to Hell, Dress to Kill, the Criterion Blu-ray, Earthquake. And then we got the Digibook of uh, James, James Dean's East of Eden. Great movie. Ian Alive, the Arrow edition. Ed Wood, Edge of Tomorrow. Edward Scissorhands, the really awesome Blu-ray edition of that. Elf, Elysium, Empire Records, Enchanted, Endless Love, I think a remake to the original film. The Entity, The Equalizer, Ernest Scared, Ernest Scared Stupid, which I think that Blu-ray is now out of print. Um, AT, uh, The Extraterrestrial, European Vacation, Everest, great movie. Uh, another great movie and kind of and underrated in my opinion is Eyes Wide Shut. Event Horizon, the UK region free uh, steelbook of the first Evil Dead. Love that edition. Better than the steelbook we got in the US. The Evil, Ted, Evil Dead 2, um, and 25th, 25th anniversary edition from Lionsgate. Uh, awesome picture quality. Then we got the remake, 
And we got the complete uh, Exorcist set right here uh, with all the movies. Then we got the Fast and the Furious movies, uh, Fast and Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious, Fast Five, Furious Six, or Fast and the Furious Six, the uh, Steelbook, or one of the Steelbooks that came out. I prefer this one over the one that I think Best Buy had. I just love the whole cast on that one. Then we got Furious Seven, Fargo, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, The Fallen Our Stars, Fear, one of my favorite movies, Fifty Shades of Grey, The Fighter, Final Destination. Then we got the Canadian Blu-rays, uh, Final Destination 2 and 3. I do not have the fourth one anymore, did not care for that movie, so I got rid of it. So I jumped up to Final Destination 5, which I loved. Definitely surprised me after the fourth movie. It was kind of a uh, weak movie. It was weak. Uh, the Final Girls, which I loved. The Final Terror. Finding Nemo. The Finest Hour. Uh, five Year Engagement, The Remake of The Fly, uh, John Carpenter's The Fog, Foxcatcher, uh, The 1994 Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, uh, then we got Frank and Weenie, The Twilight Times Out of Print, I think second edition, yeah the second edition of the original Fright Night, my favorite vampire movie. Then we got the remake, which I've actually grown to like and enjoy, so it is what it is. Had a lot of fun watching it this past summer. Then we got From Beyond. Uh, we got the Adam Green's Frozen, which is signed by Adam Green and I think one of the producers. Then we got the Disney version of Frozen. These are kind of tight, so sorry about not being able to pull them out all the way. But uh, we got the Fun House, Fury. The Gallows, the Leonardo DiCaprio version of The Great Gatsby, which I absolutely loved. Uh, I don't really get all the hate for it. I know they kind of made it a little bit modern with some of the music, but uh, I loved it. Then we got the new Ghostbusters, again, one that a lot of people hate. Um, a lot of fans, but I loved it. The Giant, which I've not watched this James Dean one yet, so I need to really sit down and watch it. I hear it's about a three hour long movie. So when I have a good day off where I can just watch a lot of movies, I'm going to watch this one. Uh, the remake to The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Definitely want to get the first one on Blu-ray or the original. And we got Ginger Snaps from Scream Factory. Uh, the Girl Next Door. The Giver, which I liked. It's fun. The 2014 Godzilla movie, which I loved. Then we got uh, Gone Girl, one of my favorites, I believe from, I think it was 2014. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe it was 2014. Uh, love that. Then we got Gone with the Wind, one of my favorites. The Good Dinosaur, great movie. Goodwill Hunting, and then I'm going to stop it at this shelf and then do part two later on, but we got The Goonies, Graduation Day, Gravity, Grease, The Green Inferno, uh, The Green Lantern still book, which I actually like that movie, Green Room, Gremlins, Gremlins 2, The Grindhouse Double Feature with Death Proof and Planet of Terror put together finally, uh, The Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy, and this is where I'm going to stop at with the guest. And the next video will be H and then probably this next shelf. So, or maybe the rest of it. I don't know yet. So it might be two parts. It might be three parts. But the next time you see uh, next video, it's going to start with Halloween. So hope you guys enjoyed part one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I'm not fitting it all in together. But I kind of want to take my time with this. I uh, really enjoy making the videos. And I hope you guys enjoy part one. And look out for part two coming up next week. So hope you guys are all doing well. As always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. Have a great weekend. And go eat some Skittles. All right, guys. Bye.